When I started at Virginia Tech, I was a biology major, and I didn't really have something that I loved. I didn't really have a passion, and I hadn't found that until my junior year when I took an introductory insect biology course. And the next year, that professor offered a beekeeping course, and I came out here and absolutely fell in love with the bees. One interesting thing about honeybees uh, stemming from their social structure is that they have a queen that uh, gives birth to everyone else in the hive. And so they're all directly related to her. And so her genetics will determine their behavior in a lot of ways. And so frequently uh, you'll have hives with different personalities. Um, one hive that I'm working with uh, is incredibly easygoing, really nice hive. You can open them up and work them in foul weather. They don't care, really nice bees. But other hives, if you open them up and it's a cloudy day, they will attack you aggressively, and it's always kind of a foreboding uh, feeling when you approach those hives uh, specifically. And so it is really interesting to see um, the different, different personalities. Virginia Tech has actually had hives for over 30 years uh, when Dr. Richard Fell first got here and started uh, our apiculture uh, program. However, we've always used those hives for an undergraduate course, bees and beekeeping. The number of hives that we've had has continually grown. And at the point that we're at now, with around 70 to 100 hives, uh, we are really able to do some uh, interesting research. There are many different stressors that impact bees today. And here at Virginia Tech, we've been looking at some of the major ones, including agrochemicals, uh, the varroa mite, which is a destructive uh, parasitic mite that transmits several different viruses and they feed on the bees within the hive. Uh, and Nosema serrani, which is a uh, fungal microsporidian that gets into the gut of the honeybees and causes lots of issues. And so those three areas are the major research uh, thrusts of our department. Our lab is specifically looking at agrochemicals, different pesticides or herbicides or fungicides, uh, which are sprayed all over kind of ubiquitously throughout agricultural landscapes and the bees bring them back. Uh, but because we don't know the specifics, there isn't one factor that can really be chosen as the main driving cause of colony decline. It's important to look at all of the different facets. They're basically a combination of a crop and a uh, farm animal. And so you've got something that is really tightly controlled by weather. So if it rains, uh, if there's not much pollination or you know flowers available, cold weather, uh, that can really impact them. But on top of that, they have behavior of their own. And so trying to control a hive is really, really difficult. But it's, it's also, it's a challenge and it's really rewarding. Every worker knows its job and does what it needs to do. And they're so important for agriculture. And, you know, we're able to kind of benefit from what they do naturally.